What's up people? Another tutorial for you. This one's about the uh, Harry Warden from the original uh, My Bloody Valentine. Uh, one of my most popular figures it seems so far on here. Uh, which is cool. Cheers to the people that have watched that vid and left comments and things, you know, much appreciated. Okay, first off we'll take a look at the figure then. There he is. I this is a really early one I made. Uh, so. The uh, pickaxe ain't great. I I might redo it again one day, but for now I'm happy enough with it, you know. Um, so there he is with his light, working light. I see. <laughs> cool. Yep. Um, gas mask, obviously his helmet, the boots, his belt, and his uh, oxygen tank thing. I'm not sure what they call it, but. Like a filter, or I don't know what they call it. It's like a breathing bag or something. Uh, and his little uh, utility belt thing there. Okay, on how I made it then. It's just a, uh, a generic base figure. I think it was a BBI Blue Box toys they're known as. They're kind of like a, an alternate version of a dragon figure. Uh, just had one spare, you know, uh, military one. I think it was like a US diver or something, something like that. And uh, so, you know, I had some accessories off that and the base for this. So, because uh, I seen the movie uh, not too long, well, about two years ago, I, I seen the film on DVD. Really enjoyed it, really loved it. And I just think he's a kick ass character. So, uh, very worthy of a custom figure, in my opinion. Uh, and I've also made my own custom costume of it, which I'll do some vids in one day for you. Coolness. Uh, but for now, I'll explain what you need to make this figure and how I made stuff. Uh, and I'll put stuff together. So first off, you know about the base figure. It's a generic dragon blue box toy figure. So you don't need anything specific for the base figure. You know, as long as it's not overly muscular or things, uh, which some of them can be, but this one's... Like I said, generic, you know, generic build. Okay, then all you need is a black jumpsuit from eBay. Where else? This one's actually an old Action Man, a vintage Action Man jumpsuit. But you gotta watch with some base figures though, would you, if you're buying old Action Man clothing for him, because if you're using a sideshow base figure, they're no good because a sideshow base figure is a lot taller in scale than a dragon on a blue box toy base figure. Uh, so just be aware of that guys, once you're starting out and things. Uh, so yeah, for this one though, I used a vintage Action Man black uh, jumpsuit coverall. Uh, the belt was from the Part 6 Jason sideshow figure, which um, I had a spare version of, I had a spare figure of that. So I used his accessories for other figures I've made, and this is one of them. As you can see, he's got it's the darts he's got in part six, Friday the 13th, part six. He's got the darts in the uh, the bag there. Um, the figure I made, uh, the figure I got rather, uh, for this figure came with gloves already. So um, I didn't have to sculpt any gloves because sometimes if you can't find gloves, you have to sculpt them yourself, which is cool, you know. It takes a bit longer though, so if you can find a base figure that is already wearing sculpted gloves, Go for that one, guys, because it'll save you a bit of time, uh, like it did, like it did in this instance. So, and as you can tell, the pickaxe is sculpted. I use Millie Put for that because back then I was still using Millie Put for head sculpts and things. Um, but like I said, I might redo it one day. I might leave it. I don't know. Okay, for the gas mask, that's a vintage Action Man gas mask as well. But be warned, they're very hard to find and they're not um, cheap. You know, they're quite expensive. Uh, but they're worth getting if you really want to make this figure. Again, eBay is the best place to find them. Uh, sometimes, you know, they're, they're always going to be used. I highly doubt if you're going to find a brand new gas mask, Action Man gas mask. Uh, usually they don't come with the lenses, so what you have to do is make your own lenses, get some acetate or clear plastic that you get on your, your packaging for your figures, official figures. You know, that's what I use. Um, you just glue them on cut them the shape and size you want, glue them on the eyes and then you know you're away then 
Uh, in this figure, you're going to have to paint on black because uh, his lenses are black in the film, in the original film. Uh, then, um, I took some tie, tie wraps, clear tie wraps, and put them around the eyes, the lenses that I cut out to, you know, give them the frame because he's got frames in the film. And then uh, just painted the breathing tube and I left the breathing sack how it was. Okay, then you're going to need a balaclava before you put the gas mask on as well. As you can see there. I don't want to take it off because it's, this figure is quite fragile. But he's got a black balaclava on and then you put the gas mask over the balaclava and then you put the helmet on. Now the helmet was a... I think it was... It wasn't a military one. I, f I think it was... I don't know, maybe a special ops one then, I don't know. But I had to do the, um, you know, the, uh, what do you call it, the visor, whatever thing, you know, the shade on his uh, on his hat there, his helmet. And uh, also, you're going to want to work in light with this one, preferably. Uh, so what I suggest is you get a reading light like this. This is a reading light, it's powered by. It takes three watch batteries. Uh, AG13 size and it's because it's already on a clip you can clip it to the back of his belt and I had to paint the tube because the tube was translucent it was clear and uh, you just run it over glue it to the helmet the top of it and you've got a little switch on there as well and that's all it is guys um, I think you see the batteries there I don't know if the lighting's any good but it's three AG13 size batteries and a little switch, turn it on, there you go, now you got your working light, turn it off for you, and um, the best place to find these, these kinds of reading lights, you want this kind, not another kind, not the more sleek looking versions, you want, you want this exact one, okay, they come in different colours, but the colour doesn't matter, because you can just paint over them, um, like I did with this one, best place to get them, again, is China, Chinese sellers on eBay, and uh, they're very cheap, they're about 99 pence. I don't know what that is in uh, US dollars and uh, money, not dollars. I don't know what it, that is. I'm not really good at exchanging rates and stuff, but that's why I got the computer for that. Um, but yeah, that's what you need, guys. Um, and basically, that's it. That's all there is to it. But it is a lot of little tiny details that you need to do, and it is it can be quite tricky. You know, especially gluing on the frames to the lenses, that was a bit of a nightmare for me. Because um, I've got fat sausage fingers, so, you know, I'm cursed, what can I do? So, um, but yeah, that's how I did it. And uh, if any of you are thinking of having a go at doing this, good luck to you. Hope you find your materials, that's the hardest part. In this game, you know, especially now, the materials are getting so hard to find, and they're so expensive when you find them. So I'm not really doing commissions, really, only in special cases. What I want to do is eventually sell some work I make at my own time on YouTube. So when a figure's for sale, I'll say on the video it's for sale. Most of my work so far is just exhibition work and now the tutorials and how, you know, I've made them. If you guys make them a better way, that's fine, you know. We're all, we all work differently, um, but this is just some ideas that I've, you know, come up with and just sharing with you guys to, you know, if you're starting out and you, you know, you want to take my ideas, that's cool, you know, um, I'm fine with that, hence, you know, I, I'd be making these videos, so I'm okay. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vid, just another last look at the uh, Harry Warden again, there, complete there. I do have accessories with them as well, I do like a little exclusive hat, you know, with someone's name on, say, like on mine it says your next Gaz, or I did Rick one, you know, it says your next Rick, it's just a little exclusive accessory for the people that buy these, I have sold a few of these, but um, as I explained, because of the materials are so hard to find, I'm not really taking any orders for these now, uh, to be honest, so that's why I've made the tutorial, so if you guys can find them out there, and you want to make them yourself, you know, best of luck to you. So, there's a Harry figure from the 1980 
one, my bloody Valentine, the best, one of the best slashes in my opinion. Anyway, so I'll stop joining on. So I hope you enjoyed the vid, hope it helps you. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. But until uh, the next video, just take care and best wishes to you.